treat for you this morning. I am um, doing a Google Plus on air with Olivier Blanchard. He is the author of the book Social Media ROI. And in the next edition of Career Magazine, you'll be able to hear all about what Olivier thinks about social media. So Olivier, tell us a little bit about um, who you are, why you decided to write that book, and what do you think about social media? <laughs> okay, really well, who I am? Yeah, I know, I know. Wow, that's a lot of questions. So, who I am? Um, I I don't know who I am yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm a French guy. Uh, moved to the U.S. when I was uh, in my teens. Went to college here, and uh, through a bunch of different adventures and and different things, ended up in the marketing world and uh, the brand management world, mostly. So, my career before the uh, this whole social media experiment started was kind of a mix of uh, of business development, marketing, brand communications, and even product management and development. So I've kind of gone around the uh, the enterprise and and every aspect of marketing. So can I put a plug there that you actually have a marketing background? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's. Although let's, you know what, I, I didn't go to school there. for it. Yeah, I didn't go to oh. school for it. I, I was, uh, I was always uh, like really interested in marketing, but I, I actually went to school to uh, to study political science and, and okay. international relations and trade. So that's right. a whole different thing. But I, <laughs> yes. fell, I, I, you know, I fell into marketing. Um, probably it, it wasn't that much of an accident. There's probably something Freudian going on right. there. <laughs> um, and it, it, you know, weird. It turned out that I was good at it. Okay. So, uh, so I stuck to it, and uh, so when the whole social media thing started turning up or, or showed up on my radar before it was called social media, it seemed to be a really good fit. It, it was already kind of what I was doing uh, in the analog world, and I was okay. when the platform started appearing before they were. It was clear that they could have business applications. I was already incorporating them into what I was doing. So. Uh, so I had a little bit of a head start, like a few other people in, in my profession, uh, when it comes to social media integration in the enterprise, and uh, and so it was. I had a I had a few years of uh, of little extra practice uh, okay. by the time everybody else started, so that that turned out pretty good. Okay, well that's fair. Mm -hmm. um, well, I read in your book uh, where you talked about social media programs, and you said that it's not a mere marketing add-on. That it's um, and and that it's not a blogging experiment either. Right. So <laughs> I love that actually, because what you hear from a lot of social media experts mm -hmm. is that um, you know one you must have a blog if you want to have a presence in social media, and I I kind of um, don't go with that only because I'm not a huge blogger. Okay. And I have. Um, I have a pretty big following, so, and, and let me clarify what I'm saying, is that it's been presented that if you don't have a blog, that you cannot be effective in social media, so let me clarify what right. I'm saying there. Right. So, can you kind of speak to that, where you're, where you're talking about, you know, that it's not really a blogging experiment, and how people may be misusing um, social media or blogs? Right. Um, well, you know the no. So, so to your point, yeah, you don't need a blog to be successful in social media. However, you define successful, right? Um, but having a blog does help. It's you know it was one of the the, the biggest platform, the bigger platforms in terms of SEO. You know, it, it brings dynamic content into your website, and so uh, in terms of search, in terms of uh, of pulling traffic, in terms of being found on the internet, which is one of the, the main things. Okay, that's that's really important, um, and, and it also is is a, a way for you to uh, uh, to share what you're about and and share what your your interests are with people and start discussions. Now, back in the day when I started, there really wasn't Facebook or Twitter. I mean, there there were you know you had MySpace. You had a, a, a the one that I used was called Buzznet, which uh, has really changed since then. Back then, it was a mix of uh, if you can imagine Flickr, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook all in one. That's wow. what it was. It was pretty wild. <laughs> I, I wish it had, it kept going uh, the way it was going initially. Well, start it. Start it. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. It's it's like an emo like music uh, like fan site now. So it's it's completely okay. morphed into something else. Um, but no, I mean the the blog is just an easy way uh, uh, to kind of you know get into social media that's that can be completely under your control and that that ties back to your website. It can be incorporated into a website, so it it makes sense. 
but now with Facebook, with Twitter, with YouTube, with Google+, Plus, I, I don't think that, that blogging is as important. I, I still think it's important, but you can, be, um, you can be very active in social media just by having you know, uh, listening platforms and uh, inserting yourself into communities that have something to do with what your interests are, whether they're professional or not. So you could conceivably, in, in 2012 and 2013, not have a blog and be uh, very successful on social media. Yeah, absolutely. But five years ago, it, it wasn't the same. Uh, okay. You, you kind of had to have some publishing platform uh, in order to uh, to really get that traffic and, and you know publish something. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. And then so for those people who um, have um, blogs that maybe are attached to their website, would you say that that's... Um, maybe a better strategy than having a separate website or, or a separate blog or would you say that it really doesn't matter as long as you're able to to get the traffic back wherever you Yeah, need? you know you 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 talk to uh, you talk to SEO professionals and they're going to tell you that the uh that, that the blog needs to be tied to the site. It it has to be, you know, one site. Um I'm a perfect example of do as I say not as I do. My uh, my my blog is actually, and it's there's a long story behind it, and we can we can get into it during the uh, the actual you know All interview right. thing. Okay. Um, but the uh, the the idea was to create a blog that didn't cost me anything and get right. a bunch of followers and 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 readers subscribers, and uh, and produce quality content uh, on on a penny. And initially, it was kind of an experiment. It was like, all right, let's do this so, so we have proof of concept, so we can prove that this is going on. And I didn't have a site back then because I was, right. you know, gainfully employed. I never thought that I'd become my own boss at some point. Right. So there wasn't a lot of forethought. And I've never changed it. It just, it's still there. And, and I've been just either too lazy or too reluctant to, uh, to you know, build a site around the blog. Yeah. So I actually have uh, several websites that, that are not connected to the blog. Basically, right. it's just links, you know, linking right. the sites, right. which is absolutely what I advise people not to do. Right. Um, but I don't care. I don't care about traffic. So, <laughs> so for me, it's, it's a, kind of a non-issue. People scratch right. their heads and look at me like, what, what do you, like, why haven't you connected all this stuff? Yeah. Like, I, I don't well, care. I found you. <laughs> yeah, see, so so it works out. I found you, and I, you know, and uh, you know, we've shared earlier. So I'll tell you, you know, the people who are watching this will say, "Well, I went to his site, Stephanie, and you know, it says, um, what is it, Brand Builder? I think it's mm -hmm. Brand Brand Builder. Dot WordPress. Dot org is one, right? Yeah, it's well, it, yeah, I and mean, you can do a uh, uh, Olivier Blanchard. Dot net okay, as well. Olivia. Well, that one we can live with because my my population will tell you, oh, she's always talking about branding, branding, branding. Mm -hmm. But now she has this guy. But that's okay when they when they find out what you do, they'll understand. Right, why right. You're yeah. going to be on the cover of Career Magazine, and they're not, right? Ooh, okay, <laughs> all right. I didn't know it's going to make so, the cover. Awesome. But look, you get to be you get to be big for them, but it, it's all good. Cool. Um, but you know. It, as we shared previously, I talked about, you know, shared with you my background in human resources mm -hmm. and um, the whole phenom of social media. And one of the things that we continue to see pop up is um, openings and job openings for social media managers, social media developers, et cetera, et cetera. Um, now, let's say because you are your own boss and let's just say that you um, needed to hire and you had a marketing department. Would you make social media make a social media manager a new position, or would this be something that you would task to some of the people within your marketing department? Oh wow! Well, um, it depends. Okay. It depends on, on several things. The the first thing is: Are the people in my department currently in my department? Um, not necessarily qualified, but experienced. Or are they comfortable with social media? Do they understand uh, the tactical aspects of it and the strategic aspects of it? Okay. So, so that's that's a, a good place to start. I'd rather promote people who work for me, uh, or give them new things to do and develop them as professionals, than um, than force them to sit where they have been for the last five years, where they're just doing their stuff well, but they're not growing, and and looking for somebody else to come in and and uh, and, and you know fill a need so um, my reflex is always to look inward first 
Okay. Uh, and and another reason for that is that social media isn't just you know the uh, the the skills of being a community manager and pushing stuff out and and having conversations online. It's also knowing the company, knowing the ins and outs, and being able to speak about it with uh, with people. So um, the the first thing that I really usually look at when it comes to you know creating a social media program or or starting to develop social media across an organization is um, can I bring in uh, customer service first actually before marketing uh, because yeah. the uh, the need for people to interact with the company is usually they have questions about something and it's it's more about listening and solving problems than it is about you know pushing marketing messaging so for for me it's it's customer service and customer experiences first marketing second okay um, having said that if you're if you're really starting from scratch and and not necessarily it wouldn't be my company but um, for a lot of enterprise types of, <clears throat> types of businesses that have been around for a while and are, are really kind of um, siloed and and risk averse and and technology averse. Uh, even if they're huge juggernauts and they're making billions of dollars a year, they've been kind of closed uh, closed off from from this whole social media thing. And it's really hard to integrate social media. So for okay. them to build a, a business from scratch, I would probably hire someone to um, to manage the first couple of years, maybe two three years of the development of that social media program uh, or the adoption across the organization okay. and that would have to be somebody who not only has an understanding of marketing and customer service etc and social media but also someone who has experience with change management uh, and that's that's a whole completely different okay. discussion but yeah. it would be a temporary assignment it's, it's something that they would do for for a certain amount of time and then either you know it would be on contract either we would you know plan to disengage at some point uh, or give them a role within the organization where they uh, where they fit where it makes sense uh, as a um, not just a builder of the social media program but maybe just a coordinator kind of like the nucleus of all of the social media activities uh, within the company that that are going to have to interact over time so um, okay. so, so it's definitely not a community manager it's it's something much more much more complex and and something that you don't see a lot of right okay so I'm gonna read this to you real quickly and then if you guys want to hear anything else that he has to say you have to of course you know what you do subscribe hit the magazine all that good stuff because he's going to give us some really good nuggets I, I have faith I, have, faith. I, am, I, I am. have a book <laughs> and you guys should get it too it's a great read but I wanted to just kind of read this to you really quickly it says a social media manager will implement then this is an actual job description that I pulled off of a job website all right mm -hmm. so it says the social media manager will implement the company's social media strategy developing the brand awareness generating inbound traffic and encouraging product adoption and some of the responsibilities or I should say um, their requirements for this position were um, strong project management or organizational skills in-depth knowledge of understanding social media platforms and their respective participants and then they listed Facebook, Dig, YouTube, Twitter, Flickr, etc. Knowledge of blogging ecosystem relevant to the company's field. Ability to effectively communicate information and ideas written and verbal in written and verbal format. A team player with confidence. Good technical understanding knowledge of principles of SEO do you think that that company understands what social media is based on that job description of who well, you're looking for um, yeah I think so I think I mean it's you know social media is is pretty big it's kind of like saying um, uh, trying to decide if a company understands marketing through uh, or customer service through through a, a job rack right. so um, for it's it's clear what they're looking for Let's put it that way. So I think it's a uh, it's not a bad uh, job rack when it comes to social media. Um, I, I think there's room to grow. There's room for improvement. Okay. Obviously, they'll realize that there's there's a lot more to this uh, than than what they talked about. But it's not bad. Um, you know, I, I've seen some where it's it's the the really kind of typical uh, seven plus years of social media management uh, must understand platforms like Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, uh, blogs. Um, and it's kind of it's almost like a template and they just filled in the blanks with you know some keywords that they found on Google 
um, those are the ones that worry me. Okay. That one doesn't worry me as much, and it's uh, it's it's one approach to social media. It's one one job aspect of social media. I think it's got it's got potential. It's not bad. All right. Well, if you guys want to hear more about what Olivia has to say, Olivier, I keep saying Olivier because there's an R on there because he's French, okay? <laughs> so it's Olivier, but I want him to say it for us. Say it for us, Olivier. Say it like the real way. Oh, the real way. Olivier? <laughs> say it one more time. Olivier. Olivier Blanchard. That's, that's <laughs> what it's supposed to sound like. All right. <laughs> All right, so we will talk with you soon. You'll, um, of course, get some more information from us. And you guys be on the lookout for this interview. It's going to be a fantastic one. Um, I'm so very, very excited about it. The topic is Social Media Matters. You guys can go out to the website, www.thecareermag.com. Did you get the copy of the cover we sent you? Did you check that out? No, I didn't. Oh, well, it's, in, it's in your email. Is that with me, with me in the cover? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. that was fast. <laughs> All right, I'll check so it out. We'll check it out. We'll make sure that he likes it, and then once he says that he looks grand on it, then we will share it with the public. So I thank you so very much for your time, and I'm going to end this broadcast, and then I'll talk with you a little bit behind the scenes, and we will we'll go from there. All right? Perfect. So Sounds good. End this. <laughs>